Welcome back, everybody, to another fun gear review. Today, we're taking a look at the Chameleon Speed Cut Pro 7 inch saw. Now, I did not plan on buying any more saws, but I was at my local tractor supply and I happened to always walk through their uh, displays that they have up front near the checkouts. And of course, they had to have this saw in there, and it looked really good, and it was a really good price. So I got it. Impulse buy. That's why they put that stuff up there, for people like me. <laughs> and it was $14.99 at Tractor Supply. I do have a link to Tractor Supply's website, so you can check your local Tractor Supply, see if you can pick one up. Because everywhere else I went online, the price of this saw gets a lot worse a lot more uh up to 20 bucks and over which i thought was crazy so before i get too much into it let's take a look at the packaging okay as you can see it's a changeable blade pretty cool UPC, contact information, all that good stuff. Let me give you some specs on this blade. Instead of just saying high carbon steel and all that, they actually tell us what steel this blade is made out of. Japanese SK4 high carbon steel. It has a hard chrome finish. It's seven inch or 180 millimeters. Teeth pitch. 0.157 of an inch or four millimeter and 6.5 TPI that's teeth per inch so pretty cool pretty nice uh, it's a tapered blade cross-cut tri tri sharpened edge just like a lot of other Japanese style saw replaceable and an ergonomic non-slip grip this grip is a TPR overmolded type rubber type grip, which is my preferred outdoor type grip for a lot of different tools, knives and such, because when your hands get wet, this still works very well. Okay, rough dimensions. Okay, folded like this. Our rough dimensions are nine and a quarter inches or 23.49 centimeters. When it is deployed, this sucker's longer than it would appear. It's 15 and seven eighths of an inch deployed or 40.32 centimeters. Pretty cool, no listed weight, but we're gonna check that. If I didn't say before, the teeth are impulse hardened just like a lot of other Japanese style saws. As you can see, the blade is curved, so you're gonna get more of a high efficiency cut, more of a speedy cut, which is desirable. Okay, give you a nice little look here. Made in Korea, hopefully South Korea. There is a metal liner here, up here in the handle where the blade goes. Locking nut screwdriver to change the blade looks really good the lanyard hole there's no teeth poking through like <laughs> like some of the others i've looked at so it looks really good now one thing i did note this locks shut it's not going to accidentally come open in your pack that's about as far as the blade will go when it's locked open it it opens all the way before it locks again so please note that and don't let the blade come down over your fingers but the lock seems to be of good quality and it only has two positions locked closed or locked fully deployed good deal looks like give you a look in there typical molded plastic with reinforcements feels pretty sturdy doesn't feel like I'm gonna break it 
so that's always good news. Yep. So that's material from my thumbnail. So it has a very nice and sharp 90 degree spine. You could use that to strike a ferrule rod, process, you know, stuff like uh, fat wood for your fire. There's a lot of uses for that 90 degree spine. Very cool. So I wanted to check to see if this chameleon would fit in my P90 single magazine pouch. Let's see if it will. Ugh. Okay. Um, it's about down to here where my thumb is. Yeah, it's not going to work. That's way too tight. Nope. It's just a little too wide here in the belly. So kind of a bummer. Won't fit in that pouch. I have a pair of my BDU trousers up here. We can see the cargo pocket. The Chameleon 7-inch saw is a pocket saw technically, right? We're going to see how it fits. And straight up and down fits in there. No problem. I think that will do. We've got our scale set to kilograms, so we'll do that first. It looks like 165 grams, or five and seven eighths of an ounce. That's pretty light for a little saw. We're back at the mulberry tree, and we're gonna give the chameleon saw a chance at this two and a half inch limb. So let's do a timed cut. Ready, set, go. And as you can see, the cuts are very fine. I think that'll do. Even with gloves on, I find the handle to be very comfortable and very usable. Very nice cut. I think that'll do. So in the bare hand, that TPR, that overrolled rubber, very comfortable in the hand. You got a very positive stop right there for where your hand is. And your thumb naturally falls behind the lock. I like that. This is the limb where we tested the larger saws. As you can see, that's a lot bigger than th three inches, which is what this said it can do. So, we're just gonna take our time and saw right down through this. To show you, you can cut larger limbs than what they say. just takes more time. There is the cut. It's very smooth. Very well done. This little chameleon saw works really well. I'm impressed.
I've been cutting out here for a little over an hour just trying to clear more of this small stuff and uh, I'm not disappointed one bit but I think it's time to head her back in. Well you got to see the Chameleon Speed Cut Pro 7 inch saw in action and I gotta say for what I paid for it and an impulse buy at my tractor supply I am blown away. It does exactly what I want it to do. It didn't cost me a lot of money. It's comfortable. You know, it doesn't have as good ergonomics as other saws, but this is acceptable. This is acceptable. Um, curved blade, very good cutting efficiency, very fast. Uh, totally happy with it totally happy with it I can't really see any negatives to the saw there is better option out there you know you're gonna see my other reviews I think you're gonna know which one I'm really excited about this one pretty good definitely a competitor to something like a silky pocket boy can you pay you can pay a lot more and get like a silky pocket boy or something else and it's gonna cut just as good if not better than this but look at the money you're spending this is $14.99 at tractor supply I don't think you can beat that but these are my opinions on my channel your opinions may vary anyway everybody thank you so much for watching and I will see you all later out in those woods over there Having a good time, and have a great night. Kira, say good night. Thank you.